What's going on, British Rogue? This is Storms here, and I am with my sister, Little Sims. What are you going, Sims? Good. What's going on? Cup of tea? Cup of tea. Hot Look very dapper. We're going to have a conversation. We're going to have big talks. First question, mm -hmm. music. Music. What does it mean to you? It's a vibration, do you know what I'm saying? I always say sound is intention, do you know? It's not, it's not so much about what you're hearing more time, it's a feeling. Mm. When you hear a certain chord, it can move you to tears. Mm. When you hear someone sing a certain riff, it can give you goosebumps. It's like, it's, it's more the physical feeling of it. I'm a very feelings-led person. 100. Music for me is extreme feeling. I think any artist, one any true artist. Any true artist, 100%. Yeah. I, I like to think the one thing we always have in common, despite wherever we come from, is the fact that we're feelers. For whatever reason, as artists, once we feel we want to go and cry, or we want to go and rap, we want to go and sing. Sometimes people might want your art to be cut down or censored for convenience. Mm -hmm. And I always say, no, so if it feels right, that's what I'm going with. Mm. And that's a law and that's a mantra that I live by. And I wanted to know, is there like creative laws or like a creative mantra or like, or like a rule that people know at now, Sims, Sims don't budge on that. Like. Yeah. Now, actually, when I've been making music of recent, I'm trying to be like, kind of more moment based. Like I think in every songs, there's moments mm -hmm. that like people connect with. It mm -hmm. might be the hook, it might be the bridge or whatever. Like not everyone might not connect to the whole song, mm -hmm. but there's a part in it that's like, damn, that part really moves me. So I'm also trying to like understand those moments within music and like, okay, what can I do around a song that will support this okay, moment? Of course. I've got another question for you actually. A common misconception about you that you want to put to rest. Oh, now I don't know if I feel like this more so, but before I used to think people think I'm like anti, rude or mm. like not a bit standoffish. And it's like, I'm genuinely just quiet. I'm not that much of a talker like that. I'm more of a listener. Now I'm like over it. I just, maybe just feeling a bit more secure in myself. Mm. And like I know myself and I know I'm not that way inclined. Your life's obviously changed and it's gone in a certain direction. Can you take the hood out of the boy? Nah, you can't. In the most beautiful way possible, I say that. In the mm. sense that that's what made me and that's who I am. You know, there's always this thing of like, you, you, making it out the hood. I always want to try and explain to people that's not rejecting it. Mm. There's a difference between making it out from somewhere and then turning your turning back, your back yeah, to it, yeah. do you know what I mean? Because I'm always like, no, nah, like, I think everyone who's grown up in the same environment as us is, they're, they're like, yeah, go. <laughs> like, everyone's like, no, no, go. The hood in me has, like, un undoubtedly been a, an integral part to making me who I am today. Mm. But then there's also some sides of it where I'm like, nah, that's, that ain't the one. Can't take yeah, that. Yeah, 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 that's embarrassing. And yeah. that, as a 30-year-old <laughs> man, mm. re reacting to something violently isn't the one. I say to the man, I'm like, cuz, like, come on. Mm. Like, that ain't cool, that ain't cool. The way we think about that ain't cool. The way you just spoke about that woman ain't cool. A lot of what I just said is still very much in me and it's, it's sometimes right. it's embarrassing and it's not even cool. Right. But, I wouldn't be who I am without man, but then also knowing, yo, man needs to kind of get rid of some of that yeah, to, in order to grow. Yeah, Do you know it's what a I mean? weird paradox now, for yeah. sure. What is something that used to unsettle you or irk you or frustrate you earlier in your career that you are at absolute peace with now? Maybe like having that thing ad attached to my name, like a number one, the award for this. As, as much as those things are amazing. I think I've, I'm more at peace and okay with me not having that. I like to think I've still got a very long career. 100%, you know, yeah, 100%. so it comes for people at different times. And like, just, I, yeah, that's the thing. Just being okay with like, my whatever happens for me will happen in divine timing yeah, and not like, because this is this is the formula, this is the way it's meant to mm -hmm. always go. What about you, actually? People not understanding me. I used to mad want to be understood. Mm. Like, yo, don't you get, like, man, like, and, and then now I'm like, 10 years down the line, you're like, oh no, like, you're meant to be misunderstood, yeah. innit? Like, mm -hmm. it's all part and parcel of, like, being an artist, I guess. I just also think it's good to, like, take risks, you know what I'm saying? 100%. It's like, what does being of service like mean to you? There's times I have to remind myself that 
this is so much big. For example, Alexander Palace, he saw me after yeah, the show, yeah, 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 yeah. going through it ill. Mm -hmm. Like how it's moments like that where I'm reminded like, it's not about me. If it was up to me, I'll be in my drum, I'll be in my bed, yeah, yeah, like course, course. trying to get better. Course, yeah. But it's like, there's a higher purpose. There's, there's something I'm being called to do. I've been like, just doing a lot of digging into my scripture. And I've always said the, the greatest person you can follow is Jesus Christ, yeah? Mm -hmm. And why is Jesus great? And it was because he served people. Mm. I like to think I, I do serve, but sometimes it, it's probably in a comfortable way. I could go in to see someone, yeah? Go in to see a friend, like traveling an hour up the road to go see a friend and be with them for that whole day mm. be, would be a harder thing for me to do than if they said, yo, Storms, I need a, a grand. Right, right, That's an easy right. way to serve, you know? Being there for them physically and taking the time and the effort, mm. that's, a, that's, that's probably more taxing for me. I do serve and thank God. And of course, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way I served. I can serve more. Same for mm. me. I realized like the more you even take that time, like you said, be intentional with your time, and open up to people, it's like the more you give them value. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Do you know what I'm saying? Because more 100%. time people, when you're doing your thing, people don't know how to be of value yeah, in your yeah, life, yeah. the different ways to yeah, serve. Yeah, man. Do you go to therapy? I do go therapy. I haven't been therapy for a sec. Maybe because I'm, I'm cool. Done. I'm healed, brother. I'm, yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> I'm done now, man. You completed it. Funny thing, I used to go therapy when I was in turmoil. And then I stopped doing that and I started going when things were good. Good. That was a lot better experience. Nice. I encourage everyone to go therapy, like. Mm. But um, what I also encourage as well is talking to your friends or talking to someone. And I think there's things you can mm. do away from therapy, innit? Like, mm. therapy is more powerful than just being a thing that you press when your life's upside down and it turns it back up. You know what I mean? I think even when you're good, it's, it's still good to go. You gotta give me your dream song lineup, yeah? You need a rapper on the first hook, someone singing the hook, a different rapper on the second verse, and then maybe someone on, on the outro, and, and, and the producer as well. Storm's gonna set it off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Playboy Carty's gonna do your ad libs. Oh, hard, hard. Flo's producing it. Of course. Sure. Andre's gonna do a flute interlude. Hard. I'm may I'll maybe do like a little spoken word bit, God. and then Cleo will see us. Of course, side. I think mine would be Sims on the first verse. <laughs> Cleo would be on my hook. Mm -hmm. Flo would produce it as well, <laughs> alongside Casa progression, Sick. and then Kendrick on the second verse. Mm. I, I will leave it as that. This question I was listening to Frank Ocean. We all try it. Yeah? There's a lyric in there. He says, uh, I, "I still believe in man." Oh, wise man, let's be why. Because I just don't believe we're wicked. I no, believe we sin, sin but I do believe we it. Try. And when I heard it, I just thought, oh, what a nice question to ask you would be is, what do you still believe in? In a world where, like, I don't know, that like old values and traditions are somewhat dead and being optimistic is borderline being delusional. What is something where you say, nah, man, I still, I still believe in that, man. Like, mm. I still believe that, you know? Chivalry. Chivalry, yeah. I I don't think chivalry is just a guy doing something nice to a girl. Mm. That's like, do you know, I just think in all aspects. The other day, like, I went for a walk and, like, where I was walking, the, the, the pavement was mad narrow mm. and there was someone coming towards me. She obviously saw me coming and she just waited. And at first I thought, oh, like, should I speed up? Should yeah, I, do you yeah. know? But it was just nice that, like, people can still practice patience yeah, in their daily it. lives, you know? I still believe in truth, especially with the internet and just the world and everything that, that exists in it in culture that will prop up false prophets and false teachings and, mm. and, and illusions. I still believe that truth wins. When I wrote this question, I didn't even think we would end up here, yeah? But as your friend, I'm saying this as a, as a fan and as a person with perspective, you are one of the biggest testaments to that. In, 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 mm. in for, for me, honestly, like, and I've, I've, I've probably ranted about this to bare different people <laughs> in my life, like, yo, Sims, like, but I always say you are my truest peer in the sense of my, when man come in the game 2000 and whatever, there was man, there was some other people, there was you. However many years later, for 
us to be here mm. on the cover of British Vogue, I said, that is such a testament to, like, truth, because Wings. you would have been enc encouraged a lot of times to, like, change or, like, mm. compromise or, mm -hmm. like, nah, you got to do this, you got to do that. Yeah, yeah, truth prevails, like... Jeez, I, I cheers mean that, to that. Like, cheers to that, come <laughs> on, man. How do you know when a project's finished? Oh, i got a good answer for this. When there is nothing left to say. I always quote Jay-Z on this when he was making 444. And they asked him, like, why was it so short? And he said, I had nothing else to say. And you can hear that in your bodies of music as well. When I go through your album and I was listening to This Is What I Mean, I got to the end, he said it. For me, anyway, as a fan, as a listener, as a consumer, like, I wasn't like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Was that other thing? Yeah, 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 it's like, no, he's, he's, he said it, and that's what he meant. Hey, man, Do you know what I mean? Give me two things that you've lost on the way to becoming you. And one of them, I want, I want you to Why think not? of... Yeah, 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 <laughs> literally. <laughs> but, but no, no as in, it, it, it all could be that, but one of them that you think, yeah, that was so necessary that I needed to lose that. And then the other thing, something that might break your heart a bit. Something I've lost that's necessary, just to be very transparent, my weed habit. Mm -hmm. And even though I'd have a drink here and now and then, but the amount of alcohol consumption, mm -hmm. I think. Because this is the one job where it's like on tap. Yeah, 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 of course, you yeah, know? Yeah, all day long. You just yeah, yeah. here, have it all. Everyone can do, do what they feel. I think it's just about knowing you, you know? And I think that wasn't working for okay. me. Something that breaks my heart a bit. I came up with a group of rappers, mm. you know, that was, we was all in my era, space age. And sometimes it does break my heart that we didn't all mm -hmm. do it yeah, yeah, together, yeah, course, yeah, yeah. you know? As I've gotten older, I've, I've made peace with it because also it's like, as much as you can want something for someone else or it genuinely might not be their calling, yeah, 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 you know, course, and everyone yeah. has their thing. But I've just always really, Love the idea of like winning as a team. Mm -hmm. I've almost found it again, whether that's with Cleo or with Flo, yeah, with yeah. Chronics. Like I've, I've still man managed to find a community. Yeah, of course. Do you know? Yeah. Hey. What about you? That's crazy. That's a wicked question. I lost my fuck in, in terms of, you know, <laughs> like give. as in I used to have a fuck to give. <laughs> yeah. And now I ain't got no fuck to give. I ain't got a zero. For, yeah. And that that was so necessary. Yeah, yeah, another one. Cheers. You know what I mean? That was so necessary. Like, yeah. what I think I've lost, sometimes it comes back and I think I've been on a big journey the past six months, maybe. That boy like spirit. You know that like when you first walked in a studio mm. and like, like yo, you know what I mean? Like, I can still grow but still be a wide-eyed, mm. flipping 13-year-old. A lot of us lose that naturally, mm. and, I, and I think it's important to reignite it. Do you find it easy to give advice? I do, yeah. Do you know I think I find it easy to get, give advice because I understand. You've given me great advice. Thank you, thank you. I get it from my big sister, definitely. I get that level of empathy and that level of understanding. And, and I always say, that's, that's why I've got so much love for you as well. Like, I think that like, like, my love for Rachel and my relationship with her, like, I've, I've, it's, it's like, it, it goes like that, <laughs> then it's like, oh, that's my sis, you know what I mean? Like, is there anything that you've wanted to do that you haven't taken the, the step to do that you're, you're thinking about, maybe? Mine is, I would, I say it a lot, but I don't even know how, but I want to I wanna do theatre. Really? Yeah, I, I don't want to act in it. I want to like write a script or um, yeah, or put on a production. I've never even written a script. I wouldn't even know where to start. But you probably find it easier than you expect because you're already a storyteller. I think maybe in the world of photography, like I would love mm. to like even if it's just have a, a exhibition because I really enjoy photography. But me as well, I'm like I respect the art so much. I never want it to be oh, just doing it because yeah. do you know what I mean? Agreed. I see, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Many a projects that I'm mm. like, oh, like mm. do you know, but it didn't discourage me from doing an album yeah. or putting out a next album or whatever it is. So I think if I can apply that to whatever it is I'm doing outside music, hopefully, hopefully I'll be great see. at it one day. Do you know? With all that comes with what we do, with all that, you know, whether it's traveling, whether it's moving about here and there, what is how do you actually decompress? I'll be chilling, man. <laughs> you based. This is how I see artists. When they're not recording, 
they're doing some slick shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, like yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah. visiting the, the mountains yeah, in Japan yeah, and they're yeah. like, and I'm like, I don't want to, damn, I'm not like that car. <laughs> my chef Vic, who's amazing, she she's always got this joke, like, I will come downstairs and if I'm in my dressing gown, she'll laugh. She's like, when I see that dressing gown, you're <laughs> chilling. <laughs> Put my Ugg slippers on. I'm cozy. I'm done now. Like, I'm, I'm in my group chat with the man them. Do you get bored? Nah. Yeah. I can chill, you know. Yeah. Like if I got paid to chill, I'll be a. I can chill. <laughs> like music is always everything you've got. Mm. Like I, I know when I listen because you're a true artist. I know when I listen to a Sims album or a Sims project, or I go to Ali Pali and I watch Sims. That was everything she had. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you didn't save some for like, oh, okay, like I'm gonna go easy on this project and mm. I'm gonna save it. No, that was everything you had. And sometimes exhausting. It's completely depleting. When I'm not giving <laughs> it everything I got, I ain't giving it shit. <laughs> I ain't giving it shit. I'm chilling because, uh, and when I'm chilling, I'm thinking, yeah. yo, because when I'm back on, it's everything. I'm on. It's a chill. <laughs> Thank you for this convo, Sims. I'm always grateful for our friendship and, our, and our, this is my sister. I always say that this ain't like my music friend. This is my bona fide sister. And thank you for this nah, conversation. I appreciate it's been you too, brother. Beautiful. Man. Thank you, British Vogue. Peace.